So what's going on guys? So today we will be installing something pretty cool on the back of a Ford F-150. This is Patrick's truck, the one that we recently put the water port and the built right rack on. We also put the Roadmasters on this truck. This truck's kind of given me a bit of a clean slate. As he gets upgrades and I have upgrades, we can put them on here and let you guys know what they're all about and how they function. Anyways, so he ordered this part off of Amazon. What this is, is the OEM shock absorber assembly to add to an F-150 that doesn't already come equipped with a slow opening tailgate. This is gonna be a really, really quick install, but I did wanna show you guys how it's done since it is something that many people with Ford F-150s without this feature are gonna to wanna to add. So we're gonna go ahead and add this to the truck. We'll be right back. All right guys, so here is everything you'll need to install it. This is the assembly itself. It's essentially gonna replace the hinge that's currently there. Here is the new shock absorber that will be installed in a very interesting place that you may not have thought it would go. You need a T50 Torx bit. You're gonna need an eight millimeter socket that you can use to remove the tail light. This is gonna be used to remove the factory hinge on the truck. But first, before we get started with that, we need to get underneath the truck, disconnect the tailgate from the body of the truck. And the reason why there's a cable there is because he has a reverse camera. If you don't have a reverse camera, you're not going to have any cables going into the tailgate. So the first thing you need to do is crawl under the truck and disconnect this harness. This is the harness that goes through into the tailgate. You're going to disconnect it right here. So I've disconnected the tailgate harness. As you pull the tailgate, it's going to slide through a grommet right there. It's a pretty large grommet, so you shouldn't have any issue with that. Okay, now I'm going to lift the tailgate up slightly. You just need to pull the little retaining clip in, slide the whole assembly off. Do the same thing to the driver's side. And then removing the tailgate is very simple. You simply are going to close it halfway until you see that little black piece right there fit right in that groove, and it's going to pop right out. So the assembly will just slide right out through there. And then on the driver's side, you're going to pull it towards the passenger side to get it out of the groove it's in. Next step is to remove the factory little hinge assembly. You're going to use a T50 Torx bit. Work smarter, not harder. Next, we're gonna remove the two eight millimeter bolts holding in the tail light. And then to remove the tail light, you're simply gonna pull back and out. You need to disconnect the tail light by simply removing the one harness that attaches to it. Now one of the really nice things about the Ford here is that they've already prepped it for the shock. So it's basically designed for trucks that either have it or don't. You see the little ball assembly here? This is what attaches to one side of the shock. And the other one's going to be on the new hinge that we put in place of the factory hinge. Okay, we're simply going to put the new hinge in. This is going to be the bottom assembly that catches onto the shock absorber that will be placed in here. Goes in just like that. So basically what I've done is I've put my Torx bolts through and attached it to this nut plate on the back. It's really easy to do. You do have the ability to adjust this piece back and forth depending on how the tailgate's closing. It's basically your ability to give it some micro adjustments so it closes perfectly. Okay. 
So now we're going to take our shock absorber and we're going to attach this bottom part or the straight part, not this angled piece up top with the boot. We're going to attach this to the bottom. And then we're going to attach this up here to the top. So that's it. So now we need to just simply reinstall the tail light, drop the tailgate in place, and we should be good. Reinstall the tail light. First, you're going to want to reconnect your harness back here. Then you should just push into place. Then you're simply going to reattach your eight millimeter fasteners. Now we just need to put the tailgate back on. Then you reconnect your cables up here. So guys, this was a really quick install. It took all of about 15 minutes to complete. Only took two tools. Very, very convenient upgrade for those of you who open your tailgate a lot and prefer it not slamming down. Prolongs the life of quite a few components. Anyways, guys, I will put the link in the description of this video if you want to get this. It was an Amazon purchased item. It's only about 70 bucks. It takes 15 minutes to install definitely worth it. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again soon.